this is a Frox Mage 5.2 guide from Sword Your Ass. I'm on my mage, fire you up. Um, you previously, if you have, you saw my fire guide. I'm now making my first frost guide. I've, I've no frost. For, I've known frost for a while, but, you know, I decided to come up with something, a little something, something. I'm going to do talents, glyphs, maybe even gems, and a little tips here and there. Alright, also on this, I, I'm in a Skype call with one of my friends, so you might hear some of his background. That's Terra Droid. You might know him. Hey. He's featured on my hey, channel. So yeah. Alright, let's get into detail of this. On the first row, this is a no-brainer, guys. Don't go into Ice Flows. Don't go into Blazing Speed. Go into Presence of Mind. Everybody wants that quick. Presence of Mind, Ring, Ring of Frost, Palm Ring. Real nice. And, you know, get somebody frozen. Alright. Let's go into the next row. Ice barrier. In my, if you see my fire video, I kind of explain flame go a little bit more. So if you want to get a little bit of detail on that, go to my fire video. But you know, we've always gone with ice barrier, and we always will be. So frost mages, ice barrier all the way. Next ring of frost, obviously, because I was showing you the palm ring. But I was also thinking frost job, but that's more of a fire thing, so uh, I wasn't gonna do it. The Ring of Frost definitely keeps controls the group, blah blah blah, yeah. Next row, I've seen people go into Greater Invisibility. Hands down, you should go into Cold Snap, like there's no choice here. Cauterize is more of a PvE thing, or maybe if you're running with a healer. Um, Greater Invisibility, I can't even see that useful in any sense, unless you're maybe running with a healer. I, I don't know, I, I couldn't see it. Cold Snap, get that. 30% heal and reset your ice block so I can ice block cold cold snap and after my hypothermia comes back down I can use it again yeah I'll use it again later in the video obviously when the hypothermia comes down next row I've been told nether tempest is good I tried it it's more of a BG thing in my opinion for the procs or a threes or fives thing, I guess, but I would still go with Frost Bomb for threes. Fives, maybe I could understand Nether Tempest, just for the procs, because you do get more procs out of it. Living Bomb, that's a fire thing. Keep it in fire. Frost Bomb is hands down the easiest to control. You Frost Bomb something, you drop your um, pets freeze and deep freeze and by that time the person should have exploded from you and you could even spec in the glyph of oh wait no my bad they changed that I can't even say that alright sorry um but yeah frost bomb all the way it's the best thing right now for frost mages unless you're doing fives or battlegrounds just for the take side go for nether tempest but yeah next row a lot of people have been questioning me on this on my server ribbon there people have been like oh Encanter's ward is a shield. Why wouldn't you go for that absorb? Oh, but why would you need to shield somebody when you can get 15% damage every time you complete an evocation? And evocation has no cooldown now. Whenever you complete it, you gain 10% of your health. I just think it's smart to go into that. If I can peel somebody off and because you know we're all about peels, just freeze them and go over here and heal, heal, heal a little bit, heal, heal, and then go back into the fight. And then freeze him again and run away and heal again, blah, blah. I just think inv Invocation is a little bit better now because it has no cooldown. Even in 5.1, it was pretty good because it healed for 40%, but it was, uh, let's see, it was about, it was the regular Evocation uh, channel. This is cut in half for the evocation channel. I believe the regular one's about four seconds, four or five, four or five seconds, whatever. And it heals for forty percent. Now it's fifty percent less of a channel, no cooldown, and it gives you fifteen percent uh, spell power, spell damage after completing it for one minute or fifty nine seconds or whatever. Because technically it starts off a little bit late. That's just the delay of the game. You see how it starts on 59 seconds. Yeah. Alright. Let's go on the glyphs. I've been questioning whether or not the glyph of deep freeze is good anymore. Because one thousandth of a second. And one thousandth second. Which is just one second. Off of your deep freeze. 
and I was so reliant on the four second deep freeze that having three seconds now is just kind of weird to me. But the global cooldown is a big benefit because when you're running with a melee like I do, I run with a rogue, you're going to frost bomb, pet freeze, and then you could easily lose your chance to deep freeze because somebody else is DPSing it. So if it's not on the global cooldown, you can just use it right there and then. If it is, you got to wait for it. And you could have lost your chance to burst. Um, so, I mean, you could try it out. See if you like it or not. I'll tell you uh, something you could switch it out for. But yeah. The next thing I went for was Glyph of Frost Nova. I know a lot of people are like haven't even used this Glyph. But I like it. Because I'm usually going against a lot of melee um, teams. With, from the Death Knights to the Warriors to the Rogues. In my opinion, I just hate having them on me because I love precasting. It's just the fun. It's just fun about being a mage. So if I can get every what is it? What's the regular cooldown? Every 20 seconds, I can get a frost nova off instead of 25 seconds. I'm taking that, of course. And glyph of evocation. Every mage is gone with it. If you don't go with it, it's a no-brainer. You just should. Um. Also for the something you could sub in. Glyph of Deep Freeze 4. You can use Glyph of Armors. This one just kind of increases the defensive the defense effect of your armor. So it might slow for a little bit longer. The mastery would duration the mage armor would um, increase the 50% re reduction of harmful effects. And well, uh, you you guys get it. Um the next thing would be what is it? Glyph of Ice Lance or Glyph of Icy Veins. I was thinking about Ice Lance just because if there's nobody within the Ice Lance range, it will do another Ice Lance to your target. But that's dangerous just because if you have someone polyed, I believe it does go to that person. I don't know. I've, I haven't tried it completely because I don't even have the Glyph. I've just been rolling with the Deep Freeze Glyph. And Glyph of Icy Veins. I could see how it would be helpful. But in the same sense, it wouldn't be because when I burst, I usually get my deep freeze off, then frost bomb. So my frost bomb has to be hey, quickened to just two seconds with the icy vein spell haste. So that's why I don't use it. But it can do more damage if you have them frozen and you get two or three ice, ice frost bolts off. So in that sense, it does make sense. Um, just a little tip. You can, oh my gosh, I, sorry, I have my pet freeze messed up. There we go. Okay. I'm going to show you on this goat right here. You see how he's here? Frost bomb, pet freeze, frost bolt, deep freeze, and you just had maybe 10 seconds of um, CC right there. That's complete control. Wait, let's see that again. Seven seconds right there, plus the three second deep freeze. That's about ten seconds, yeah. So, I mean, that's just a quick combo. Another combo for your burst. Well, my burst. Let me go to it right now. Icy veins. I right, show number show tool tip icy vein slash cast icy vein slash cast berserking which is my racial because I'm a troll and literally I'm a troll race not a troll you know I'll troll you ha 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 and my malevolent gladiators badge of dominance for the spell power bonus so I'll kind of show you what I do when I set up for my burst I would frost nova burst frost bomb deep and then just go into bursting, and once deep is down, I mirror image and keep going, and yeah, and use my pet freeze and all that good stuff. That's how I kind of set up for my burst. Usually, I have to tie my deep freezes so that the person could blow his trinket, or I'll pop force a poly. Like, I'll switch targets and poly so that when you deep freeze, they can't trinket it, because they'll be... Or you could go with the last second deep freeze. So that you kind of frost nova first, and then frost bomb, and right before your frost bomb takes off, you use the deep freeze. And yeah, you can also throw frozen orb in there. I forgot to mention that you can just when you burst, throw frozen orb in, and then keep on what I was telling you.
And yeah. Also a tip, I just did this requesting. When you don't have a target or when you have your water elemental targeted, your water bolt heals your water elemental now. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's a little thing Blizzard did, I guess. It's not really helpful because water elementals go down quick. Um that's really it guys. Um like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and hopefully you learned something through this fire guide. This is I mean frost guide. Sorry for that. This is just the basics. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because we could be here all day. So thanks for watching. See ya.